Welcome back. I am going to attempt to finish the workbook in this next stretch here. It could be a little long, but this is also the parts of the workbook that we didn't really get to spend time on in class, just because of the way things worked out. So I'm going over to the chart fours. Chart fours is insert a line chart that shows all three rounds for each player listed by name. I'm just going to ignore the second half of that sentence for now. So line chart, all three rounds, each player by last name. So I've got to look at my columns. Here's my last names. Notice I got the heading in there. All three rounds, right? Non-adjacent data. I'm going to insert a line chart. I didn't say what kind, so just a line chart. And this is a pretty weird looking graph, honestly, right? Um, so I'm trying to put it in the middle here. Having a hard time repositioning it. All right. And then what I wanted to show is the last part of this instruction. Change the axis so it's uh, so each round is grouped. It's a weird sounding instruction and it's gonna look even weirder when I do it. That just means this button here, switch row column. Is that better? Uh, I don't think that's better by any definition of the word, but that's what it was asking you to do. So we're switching those, right? Yeah, so we're switching the uh, the legend and the axes and the, the x-axis. That's what that question is getting at. On to the lookups. All right, these are some good ones. This table, not very intuitive. Um, so return the bonus amount for each employee. So let me explain what's going on here because the instructions aren't too clear. This is my bonus table, so to speak. And we're going to use VLOOKUPS to fill up these columns. Uh, I already know this video is going to be long. So bonus. So basically I've got employees, I've got years work, total sales. Now their bonus is generated on how many years they've worked at the company. So if they've worked from one to five years, they have a hundred dollar bonus. 10 to 15, $500 bonus. So I'm gonna hit here to sell D2 formulas. Now I want a V lookup because this is a vertical table. All right, V lookup. So what I'm going to do here, lookup value. I wanna look up years, tab down. In this table, always an absolute reference on the table. There's no scenario where you wouldn't. Tab down. What column is going to give me the bonus? Well, I'm looking up column one. I want what's in column two. So I click two and I click OK. And this person has a $500 bonus. Is that correct? They've worked from 10 to 15 years, $500. Very good. I double click, fill handle, and it works. If you get a bunch of junk after you do a fill handle, just like every other time that that would happen. It means you need an absolute reference. But I did an absolute reference, and you can see it right there. Um, is we're going to head over to the look, look up and reference, V lookup. I'm looking up this value, right? So their quota is actually determined by how many years they've worked at the company. My table is still here. F4 for an absolute reference, and I want column three. All right, so, right, and the, I want for bonus, it was here, quota is here. I go OK, and let's explain what these mean. So I've worked at the company 10 years. That means my quota is 3,000. So I either sell 3,000 things, right, and I get to keep my job, or I don't, and I'm fired. So that's how I'm going to fill out this last column here, so met quota. So really, it's going to be an if function. It's going to be if they met the quota, then yes. Otherwise, no. So I'm going to head here to F2. Uh, logical if so my test is going to be if your total sales are greater than or equal to your quota then I'm going to say yes otherwise I'm going to say no right do you get to keep your job or not sorry uh, Christy Cano you're you're out of here right and let's see if that's correct quota was 4,000 she sold 1400 yeah that doesn't sound very good to me on to look up to all right, this is a more traditional problem. I probably should switch these sheets around now that I think about it. So we want to translate scores into letter grades. That's a VLOOKUP. I want to look up this value in this table. So lookup and reference, VLOOKUP, vertical table, looking up that value in this table, absolute reference. There's no reason not to. And the column, I want to return what's in column two. So I do OK. And is that in fact correct? D, F, F, A. I can just look at those. Those look pretty reasonable. Those are not good scores. Uh, on to look up three. And this is a, always a tricky one. Return the cash bonus for each student based on the table of grades. What table of grades? Scroll up. 
that table of grades all right so i don't know you either can see the instructions or you can see the table right you can't see both at one time so i'm going to go to cell c12 i'm going to do a lookup and reference this is a horizontal table so this is an h lookup seems intimidating it's really not i'm looking up this value in this table absolute reference as always and so row index instead of column index and if so if i want the cash bonus all right, this is row one, row two, row three. It's clearly labeled. I'm going to say row, row three is what I want. And so you get a D, zero. That's right. Let's see if someone who did good got money. These people both have over 90. They got 10 bucks. Looks good to me. On to link one. This is one of the easier sheets in the book. Create a link in the yellow cell that links to cell A82 in LPGA6 worksheet. So a link. So I want to link sheets here. And if I want to link sheets, I'm going to type equals. I'm going to navigate over to LPGA 6 by changing sheets. And A82 is this cell right here. And I click the cell and notice what I've got going on in my formula bar. That is what a sheet reference looks like. There's an exclamation mark in there. And when I'm done, I can either press enter or the checkbox. And guess what? Right now I've got the contents of LPGA 6 cell 82 displayed in cell A3 of sheet link 1. All right, it's a pretty messy sentence to say, but the concept is pretty uh, useful. On to future value 1. I think we're going to finish this in uh, about 10 minutes, which is pretty good. So pretty clearly labeled here, future value. So... Just, I'm going to breeze through these because they're all pretty similar. You do need to practice them. There are reasons they can go wrong, but I've done them enough that they usually don't watch me make a whole bunch of mistakes. All right, so this class of functions is in financial. It's FV, all right, not that intuitive, I guess. So the rate is in cell B3. It's a monthly payment. That is key here, so I'm going to divide by 12. N per, that's time in years times 12 always divide the first one multiply the second one by the same number the payment is 275 i press ok and that's the end of the story and so kind of a weird deal here it's negative so what this means this means that if i invest every month 275 dollars for 13 years at a 5.25 percent rate right so i'm making money i'm going to end up with 61 thousand dollars now it ends up being a negative number and i don't really care how you deal with that there's a lot of ways you can you can either negate this i'm a big fan of just putting a negative right in front of the formula or you know what i'm also a fan of just leaving it alone right i mean just understand that it's going to come out to be a negative number uh, whether that's right or wrong i don't know so moving on financial fv my rate here is in cell E3, divide by 12, years is 14 times 12, and my monthly payment is right there. Notice I'm using cell references. I never just hard code anything in. I press enter, and I get 34,000. Notice the different formatting. That's okay. Irrelevant. I didn't ask you to change the formatting. You don't need to. I'm going to show you a trick at this point. When I've worked through a whole workbook like this, I've got recently used, which is all the functions I've been using. And there's a pretty good chance that everything I need is in there. But once you, you just open up uh, Excel, this isn't going to be populated yet. Future value. So rate is here. Divide by 12. This is really repetitive. Years times 12. Payment. OK, right, 30,000. Next one, recently used, future value rate, divide by 12, years times 12, PMT is 300, okay. Uh, and so I, this guy, this one's doing all right. Pretty big interest rate, a lot of years, $300 a month. I have almost $200,000. This is the hard part, I guess. Use goal seek to change cell K7 to $1.5 million by changing only the time in years. All right, you do not just want to go in here and go guess and check mode, right? This might take a while, right? I don't think you should do that. Instead, what you're going to do is click on the cell with a formula that you want to change. I'm going to go over to the data tab. What if analysis? And I'm going to use goal seek. Nice little tool here. So I want to change this cell to one, five, and then five zeros. That's sorry. 
Yeah, all right, that's $1.5 million. By changing the, is it time in years or percent? Time in years, there we go. This is not going to work right now. Negative number, positive number, right? If this is negative, this has to be negative. If this is positive, this has to be positive. I click OK. Pound symbols, that's not a big problem. I click OK. 1.5 million. Apparently, it would take me 37 years under these circumstances. So I spent a lot of time on future value one. How about I'll just go future value two and I won't go over payment one? Be no, let me see. So, future value two, I'm just going to briefly tell you what the deal is on this one. Here we've got different terms. So, I'll skip one of these sheets, but not all of them. So, here I'm going to do future values, so formulas, financial, FV. Rate is here, but if I'm making a payment every other month, I make six payments per year, so I divide by six. Years times six. These numbers are always going to be the same. Payments 275, I click OK, and, th and that's what I get for an answer. Uh, so this one, I'm going to call that our magic number, whereas here we divided and multiplied by six. Every four months, you got to ask yourself, how many four-month periods are in a year? There are three, so my magic number is going to be three. Bi-monthly in this class means your magic number is 24, all right, twice per month. In the real world, bi-monthly means a lot of different things. In this class, it means twice per month. It means multiply and divide by 24. And here, quarterly. Quarterly means four, right? Four quarters to a dollar. So then we head over to the last two, which are payment one and payment two. Um, these seem like a different deal, but they're really not. I'm going to go straight to payment two just so I can give you something good. Payment one's like payment two, only easier. No? Yes. So for these, I'm going to start and sell B8, financial, PMT, right? It's short for payment. This dialog box should look familiar. It's exactly the same as FV. If you know FV, then you know PMT and vice versa. So my rate is in cell B4 every other month so my magic number is going to be six right i still divide and multiply my time in years is one times six and you might be wondering do i really need to put in a reference to one eh, no not really but i did my amount is here done and notice this is going to be smaller because this is saying if i'm if i borrow two thousand dollars at that interest rate and i pay it back you know in six payments in a year right it's going to be small chunks like that so now I'm going to do recently used PMT. So on this guy, my rate is here every four months. So my magic number is three. Number of payments is five times three. And my loan value is 15,000. And I get something like that. Recently used PMT again. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to leave my labels intact. So my rate is here. Divide by 24. That's what bi-monthly means in this class. Uh, 7 times 24 and the present value is just shy of 18,000 okay and I get something like that let's do it one more time financial PMT this is really repetitive and I hope you understand why I skipped a sheet a uh, sheet and a half because it's just the same thing over and over again you need to practice it but I don't as much so here we're doing quarterly divide by 4 uh, time in years times 4 and the value is one and a quarter million dollars. I click OK, and that's a that's a pretty big payment. Uh, last one, change cell K8 to 5,000 a month by changing only the interest rate. This one's kind of interesting. So I'm going to head to the data tab. What if analysis, goal seek. And I want to change this to five thousand dollars notice the trick right this is red which indicates it's negative so negative five thousand by changing the interest rate i click ok what the heck does that mean what negative interest rate well that doesn't make sense well it doesn't make sense it's just the answer here you just you can't make up your payments right you're not going to borrow one and a quarter million dollars and pay it off in 30 years uh, quarterly so that's how that works and uh, if you got questions ask me but i went over almost everything thanks for watching